Hey guys, welcome to DaVinci Code and it's time for the full review of the Do Game Mix. So let's get started. So I've been using this phone for about a month now and this has been my daily driver at the movies, at the park, at home, etc. And there are things that I like about this phone and a few things that I don't. So first and foremost, the screen looks super cool. It looks so amazing and futuristic. And that's because of the 93% screen to body ratio. That means that 93% of the phone's front part is the screen. It's a Samsung Super AMOLED panel with 720p resolution. And I know it's not nearly as high resolution as other similar budget phones because almost every other phone in similar price range has at least a 1080p display. But trust me, you can't tell the difference unless you compare it side by side with some other phone. And that's because it has a Super AMOLED display. Which is why the screen has such good contrast levels, has punchy colors, deeper blacks and gets super bright. The phone has Gorilla Glass 5 front and back. What that means is that it will attract fingerprints and smudges like anything. But that also means that it should be very tough against scratches and drops. But I would recommend using a case that comes with it though, cause you don't wanna risk breaking that beautiful screen. I don't even know if that display is repairable or changeable anywhere outside of China. So the phone feels a bit sharp in hand. I personally would have preferred a curved back design which makes it easier for big devices like this to pick up and handle with one hand but that's what you're getting, maybe next time. So the phone is running on Android 7.0 Nougat out of the box although it comes with a heavy cartoonish skin on it which I'm sure most of you will not like, even I didn't. So I installed Google Now Launcher of it which makes it way smoother and a stock Android like experience. The phone is very fast, it's very snappy, there are hardly any lags. It handles multitasking very well and it can play high graphic games like Asphalt 8 and Dead Trigger very smoothly. Thanks to the 6GB of RAM and the octa-core Helio chipset. And even consuming media on this display is such a pleasure. And even after such heavy usage, it does not get too hot. And if you manage to run out of that 64GB onboard storage, you have the option to pop in a memory card in the hybrid SIM card slot. So the home button at the bottom also acts as a fingerprint scanner. Now this is not a physical button, that means it gives a haptic feedback when you press it. It also acts as a back button if you simply press it once and if you long press it, it takes you to the home screen. The fingerprint scanner is surprisingly fast and works almost every time. Right beside that home button is a 5 megapixel selfie shooter. Just like other thin bezel phones out there, the Doogie Mix also has a camera at the bottom of the display, which makes for an awkward position for selfies. But rotating the phone mostly solves the issue. At the back we have a 16 megapixel and an 8 megapixel shooter. But right now, the second camera is only used to measure the depth in the scene for adding the blur effect. And anyway, the bokeh effect or the blur effect on this device is not that good. It doesn't do a good job in recognizing the difference between the front object and the background and hence the blurred photos look like this. There's no optical image stabilization as well so you'll have to be quite steady to take the photos or videos otherwise they can end up very shaky. So the phone comes with a 3380mAh battery which easily lasts a full day of moderate usage although it takes about 2.5 to 3 hours to fully charge this device, despite having Quick Charge 2.0. There are two speaker grills at the bottom but only one of them is actually a speaker. And it's an okay speaker for the price but don't expect any bass from the music. So the phone overall is a good package for the price although it misses out on certain features like water resistance, wireless charging, optical image stabilization etc. But for the price point, you can't really complain. In fact, the phone manages to surprise you with a few tricks up its sleeve, like the amazingly thin bezels, a fast fingerprint scanner, a super AMOLED display and an overall spec sheet of a high-end smartphone. I'll definitely recommend this to anyone who is looking for a budget smartphone that looks and feels a bit different from the crowd. So guys that's it for now, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.